Well, happy, happy, happy Saturday to all of you out here in podcast land. I am Brad. I am your host for the next five to ten minutes of my show, The Why. Why? Why do people do the things they do? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe because they're an annoying asshole. (laughs) Or maybe they have mental health issues, which that's okay. Just go get help. Or... Again, maybe you're just an asshole Uh, or just a whiny bitch or whatever it might be. But that's what this, you know, I haven't done this show in a while. And I apologize to my weekend listeners that actually enjoyed my Saturdays. I got quite a few emails back in the day when I was doing it. So I'm bringing it back. I'm going to bring it back. Bring it back. Okay. So if you're listening to this before 6 a.m., congratulations. You're up early. But why? Why? Why do people who get up before 6 a.m. make the most noise in the kitchen? You know what I'm saying? It's that classic moment that we all hear. That 6 a.m., 5 a.m. person that wakes up in the morning and they slam cabinets or they rustle dishes together. Or by all means, they decide to, you know, empty the dishwasher at 5.30 in the morning while you're still sleeping and you're hearing the plates and the knives and the forks all playing, you know, like it's Beauty and the Beast and they're having a fucking party. You know what I mean? Capiche? Everybody knows what I'm talking about that's listening to this episode. But I was just curious. Why is it those morning people expect the non-morning people to be like, oh, yay, you're waking me up before fucking six. You know what? If We're honestly thinking while we're laying there in bed, if we could kill anybody with our minds, it would be you. you. You would be dead. That's right. Because we kill you in our minds slowly and painfully. Because we find that the most annoying shit in the world. Like, 100%. So do us all a favor. Stop. Just stop with the early morning antics. You know, no, we don't want to sit there and listen to the news. No, we don't want to sit there and listen to your coffee maker going off. Although I do like the smell of coffee in the morning. But we all don't want to deal with it if we're, you know, not morning. I happen to be a morning person, but I am very respectful because I am up at 5 a.m. So my wife, I know, is not a morning person. So the last thing I want to do is piss her off because, you know, this is for the fellas. Ladies, close your ears. We all know there is nothing worse than waking a woman up out of a deep sleep and she is ready to fucking kill you. Yes, take my words for it. Even if she acts like she might be sweet to you, deep down inside, she hates you right now. So, that being said, do a favor. I am completely quiet in the kitchen. I don't even start coffee. I don't do anything until I hear her getting up. Because I just know it's just not worth the fight, <laughs> you know, the struggle. Because the struggle is real, gentlemen, if you're waking up, uh, waking up a woman. Now, if you have a significant other, hey, still, be the same way. Don't him or her, don't wake them up. If it's before 6 a.m., if they're not that person, it's a shitty thing to do. So I'll segue out of that one. But I have another why. And I know all of you are going to agree with this one. Why do people vape in public? I mean, seriously? I hate to tell you this, but newsflash. We don't think you look cool. You look like a douche. You look like the biggest douche douche when you have a cloud that looks like you're flying through the fucking heavens going all around your head and pissing everyone off around you i don't care if you're in a bar setting i don't care if you're at a restaurant i don't even care if you're at home around other friends because guess what you still look like a douchebag i mean anybody who smokes a vape looks like a douche we all know it we all see it and we think the same shit and i don't care even vape people i wonder if other vape people think you look like a douche Nah, probably not because they're douchey too. But you get my point, right? Why the hell vape in public? I mean, if you have, like, if you have an addiction to nicotine, I get it. You know, because we all have our vice. But step the fuck outside and smoke it. Nobody else wants to have your stupid vape shit. Newsflash, and they don't even know. Vape might actually be worse than just smoking the cigarette anyway. Right? I think you get, like, now don't quote me on this. I'm just assuming from what I've been told. You get popcorn lung from vaping. 
Well, do us all a favor. Go outside and do that shit. Again, because you look like a total douche. And my last why for the day is why do people join cults? I, you know, I, It's funny because I saw a show the other day, and it was basically a cult. All right, it, it's about these TikTok dancers. All right, and it's one hundred. The, the guy hides behind religion. <laughs> Shocker. Um, not that I'm. I mean, I, hey, look, I I I love God. You know, I believe in God, but you know, I don't hide behind him either and say, oh, you know, I'm a practicing Christian because that's I'm not. You know, I mean, I I like to read the Bible. I like to uh, read devotions in the morning, but. Do I go to a steeple and like so you know go with other people, other Christians to a church? No, I don't. So it's just personal choice. But that being said, I you know I always feel like these cults and these TikTok dancers, for instance, they were this guy was hiding behind religion and controlling these people, uh, you know, promising them fame, fortune, and, and maybe he was delivering. I don't know. But the reality is he was also controlling their lives, from what we understand, from what we're only seeing. It's a Netflix special. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Uh, just look up TikTok dancers online and you can find it. I don't remember the title. I just saw it like a couple of days ago. I'm old. I forget shit. Duh. So, back to the cults. I, I just never quite understood why people join these things. The only thing I can think of is when you you think of cults, you always think of people that might have mental health issues or young people that run away from home, you know, and they get sucked in by somebody that promises them and, and also delivers them gifts and gives them things. So it just controls that mindset. I can tell you early on in my life, in my early 20s, that I'm not going to mention the group. I'm not going to mention the organization. But I fell into that same trap. I was in a very weak state in my mind before I got married. And I was really struggling financially. And I joined this thing. And it's basically a pyramid scheme. And I went to a an, or an event out, up in um, North Carolina. And... In a nutshell, uh, it was very much revolved around religion. They were using that as primarily part of that. But we were there for sales tactics and things like that. So if you get my trip, it was very easy for me to get sucked in. And then I just felt like everybody was hiding behind the cross. And actually, that's what remotely made me leave because I started getting the wake-up calls and the, and the ha-ha, the aha moments, you know, when you're going, aha, this doesn't seem right. So because of that, I decided to leave the organization. Now, don't get me wrong. I was selling very well. I was actually, you know, probably what they call in the pyramid thing. I was like six legs, going, you know, going deep. And huh, no pun intended. I was six deep. <laughs> yeah, I'll give myself an inch and a half there. But anyway, that being said, I can see why it happens when they, when they prey on the weak minded at the time. Because, you know, people have different things. But why stay in those cults? I've, I've, I've never understood like the ones where people want to go to outer space. I mean, Really? What the fuck, dude? I mean, we can't even we can't even get to the get to the moon right anymore. You know, I mean, we're in the twenty twenty four, and we can't even get to the moon yet. I mean, this Artemis rocket. I, you know, I I question whether you know. And again, I'm going to sound like a complete nut job here, but you know, whether we got to the moon or not in the first place back in the sixties, because hell, we had turn dial shit, pneumatic freaking switches, you know, which are reliable. I know because I worked in industrial for a little while, but the reality is, is did we have the technology to really go there in the 60s, or do we just put this on? That's a whole nother why. So, back to cults. I've just never understood it, like, why they join them and then they kill themselves. I mean, these people drank the purple Kool-Aid, went and laid in bed and put sheets on themselves, uh, you know, because they were go they believed their souls were going up into a spaceship. It's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Whatever they're having, I want some. Uh I, so again, I, I, but when you look at the people that were in that, a lot of them look like they might have had issues or had some, you know, mental things or some family issues going on and things like that. And they were just easily sucked in. And I can see why, how it happens, though. But stop joining cults, people. It's a cult. That's why they call it a cult. OK, pay attention to your surroundings. If, here's the thing, man. And I'll leave on this note. If you have a gut instinct and it's telling you that, hey, this shit don't seem right, man. Then it's time to go. It's time to get the hell out of that group, man. So do yourself a favor. Take your vape pen. Leave the cult. Don't smoke inside places with that stupid-ass vape because you look like a douche. Get your shit together. And then sleep in. That's all I have for today for the why. So don't forget, head over to thedailybm.com. Monday through Friday, we have shows on that. And uh, I'd be happy to, you know, 
answer any emails you have, just send over info at thedailybm.com. Don't forget to hit, head over to masondangerbeardco.com. And if you use the promo code DAILYBM, you get 20% off on all cool manly shit. And with that, guys, thank you so much. Have a fantastic weekend. And remember, don't be part of the why.